sweet memories could not be split. Frankie Satori looking for his 500th winner at Newmarket. They're four to one joint favourites. Off and racing. And Elegancia just fell out of the stalls a bit. They're very slow to stride for this Princess Royal Albasti Equiworld Dubai Stakes. Group three over a mile and a half. Veil of Shadows broke nicely. So too did Peripatetic on the inside. They're racing a straight line for the first quarter mile. Scarlett O'Hara is up there, just relegated to fourth place now by C. Theme, who moves through on the outside in the dark blue jacket. Handy on the inside is Voodoo Queen, wider out running line, racing at about fourth or fifth place there as they take the turn into the final 10 furlongs. So Peripatetic and James Dahl striding out ahead then of C Theme and Tom Markon in the dark blue colours. Veil of Shadows is next with on the outside then running line and Oshin Murphy. Scarlett O'Hara and Voodoo Queen next, followed by Novakai in the yellow jacket, together there with Frankie on Sweet Memories. Time Lock is at the back of the field with Elegancia. And bringing up the rear, Azazat and Chris Hayes, about eight lengths off the speed now, as the runners come down inside the final seven furlongs of the contest. A decent gallop being maintained here by Perry Pathetic. Close up behind at Sea Theme on the Right of her, the raw blue jacket of Veil of Shadows. Up the inside there is Voodoo Queen. Still travelling one is running line. The grey filly in the lighter green colours. Scarlet O'Hara behind there with sweet memories in the pink and uh, blue stripes. Nova Kai is just easing into contention though. Just being pushed along briefly to do so though as they race inside the final half mile. At the back of the field, Azazat is being driven. And now on the outside, Time Lock and Ryan Moore are starting to improve. Down they come now towards the final three furlongs here. Perry Pathetic trying to see them all off but running line looks a big danger on the outside. Time lock following her run through. Up the inside Voodoo Queen. Frankie's busy away on the left with on Sweet Memories who's under a bit of a drive. Two furlongs left to go. Time lock sweeps through on the inside and takes over for Ryan Moore and she's really grabbing the ground now as she races down the hill. Goes up by about three lengths. Sweet Memories is responding over on the far side from running line who's back in third place. Then Voodoo Queen, but up the hill she comes in splendid isolation. It's Time Lock, who's up by about four lengths here and pushed out towards the line. Will take the Princess Royal in really good style for Ryan Moore and Harry and Roger Charlton. Sweet Memories was second, running line third, Nova Kai, and then staying on Azazat. Time Lock, a very impressive winner of the Dubai Stakes at 92 for Ryan Moore, Harry and Roger Charlton. Another winner for Judmont. Second, Sweet Memories, the 4-1 to one joint favourite. Third, Running Lion at 11-2. to two. Well, this is a performance to really take note of from this filly, Time Lock, who wins comprehensively four and a quarter length. Ryan Moore puts between himself and the rest of this field. And she's clearly coming out of a, a good win in France with a lot of confidence. She acts seemingly on different types of ground, but she looks like she's got to have a, an exciting end of this season. It could be her last couple of races as a racehorse before she becomes what would be a very important broodmare for the Jubmont team. This is a family.